Welcome to the 2021 European Field Championships here in Porridge, Croatia. We are fixing to get the individual gold and bronze matches started for today. Currently. Our first event up for today is going to be Berbo Junior Women Gold Medal Match is going to be Italy versus Great Britain. Again, Berbo Junior Women. On the left target, representing Italy, Eleonora Meloni. On the left target, will be Archer from Italy. And on the right target, the archer from Great Britain. Let's get this gold medal Barebow Junior Women match on the way. Looks like they'll be starting off on a 15 meter, 20 centimeter face. As Matt did say, this is a 15 meter, 20 centimeter face, so these faces are incredibly small, even for recurve and compound archers. The slightest mistake really can determines be everything. three, four, five, or six. Okay, Italy shoots first with a low four. Yesterday we did see that a lot of the archers were low on these first few targets. So it's definitely waiting to see if that does happen again for today. And Great Britain was also low, I believe, scoring a low two. two. Uh, three for G GBR and... A three for Italy. Three for Italy. Both low. Seems so. like they've cut a little too much or for this, and they just need to go back to their normal 15-meter sight settings. Definitely continuing the trend from what we saw yesterday. That will be another three for Great Britain. And a one for Italy. Then again... Giving a tie for, the, for this target. Tie score of 8 to 8. But definitely, as you can see, the archers are still favoring the low side. And I wonder if that trend will continue from yesterday to today. Well, yesterday did, from yesterday to today, they did change the targets. Uh, seems like they've m maxed the shorter distance, to the, short, the smaller target faces and did the minimum for the long, longer target faces today. Yeah, and that is definitely due to some of the athletes shooting this course yesterday in team rounds. So that if we don't want them to have an advantage over other athletes that have not had a chance to shoot this course yet. So definitely understandable. And it is confirmed, Italy is tied with Great Britain 8-8 eight, eight after their first target, moving into their second now. Yet again, these are two great superpowers in field archery, Italy and Great Britain, both amazing shooters in both their own rights. Don't you agree, Matt? Oh, completely. They've both done very well. They qualify one and two this week. And it will be just as tight as the competitions they had during the qualification rounds. I do believe so. We'll see some great things from these athletes. Now we are moving to 40 centimeter faces at 20 meters. So it really is quite quite a far shot. Pretty similar to, I'd say, an indoor round for those target archers that want to yeah. watch. Even two meters more than indoor. Yeah, just slightly, just slightly longer. That looks like a high five for Italy and a four just out for Great Britain. That's really going to turn up some of the heat, really pushing that pressure now. 
Let's see if Italy can... Can match her first arrow, just get it slightly lower into that six. Exactly. And it looks like it went high, actually. Italy shot high, and then Great Britain shot a low three. Everybody, you, you just have so much you have to take into account. You don't have any draw check. You don't have a sight. So the slightest difference between your shots is just going to compound upon itself and create a harder shot every time. And it really does. That is indeed true. And then we see Great Britain did retaliate with another three. And Italy with a five. The judges did call Great Britain's first arrow a 4-5 line. We'll need to have a judge call on that to figure out what they do say. Unofficially, it is 22-17, to 17, Italy in the lead. Currently at 5, but that might be pushed up to a 4-point lead here if that GBRS arrow is in. So we'll have to wait and see what the judges say. Here, if you're looking at the screen now, you can see these scores that have pretty much gone into the uh, medal matches of how these athletes have been shooting. And you can definitely see there's been some really consistent scores, really close scores among all the athletes. So I do believe we'll have another close match today. And in, in, in ar archery, anything can happen. Especially with, still especially with Barebow getting to that last long distance target where the margin for error is quite low. Just... A one bad shot by the leading archer can just tailspin and give the opportunity to the second archer. And that is exactly correct. One little messed up shot can really mess up everything. It's beautiful weather today here in Croatia. Uh, 20 degrees Celsius, humidity of 18%, which is a little higher than yesterday, and a wind of 5 kilometers from the southeast. So not as much wind as yesterday, but... But at those long distances, it and make that, a big that, difference. yeah, it will definitely add up. It really will. You good. see here a beautiful, beautiful bay we have here, sitting on the beach. Nice weather, blue skies. It's been an amazing competition so far. Seems like the judges are having a uh, question going on down at the targets. Yeah, it looks like the judges are debating right now. We'll have to see what they say. And it looks like Great Britain's arrow was bumped up to a five instead of being that four line. So that will increase her uh, her points down to only four instead of five. So there's still a lot of points to be had. So I believe it's still a pretty close match. Oh, yeah. No, this could, this could flip-flop after the very first arrow, especially with Barebow. Just now joining us is the 2021 European Field Championships here in Portich. Croatia. <laughs> Moving on to our third target now. It'll be a 30 meter target on a 60 centimeter face. Again, a little closer than we've seen, but still a very hard shot for any athletes, really. Just because the distance, just because the target is farther, does not make this shot any easier. Our target is bigger. doesn't Italy's make the shot any easier. That looked like a beautiful but, shot from Italy. But Italy makes it look easy. It really did. 5-6 line. I believe it's 6. Great, Great Britain retaliates with a 2. Definitely not what she needed, no. but there's still plenty of airs to be shot. Italy lets down with... About 80 seconds left on the clock. Plenty of time. You Ooh, see. and a solid six on that one. Yeah. Italy is feeling shot. confident. I wonder if this will be the first 18 we've seen on this course so far. Oh, and, and a, a six rebuttal from, from Great, Britain. Great Britain. Definitely a lot of pressure on this last arrow. Give her those points over Great Britain that she really needs to take this match to the next level. Five. And it's a five, five low. That is an amazing score of a 17. So close, but that is a great score. It really is. And you see that she's quite happy about that, smiling ear to ear, talking to her coach. Great Britain now in her final shot. Just a three high. high. There definitely is some nerves going into this. I know personally, from my experience, it's not as easy as they make it look. Your heart is racing. You have to really control that adrenaline. 
control how you feel making those shots. Yeah, check to make sure that you're not, you know, canting your bow. You make sure that you get to the correct anchor and make sure that you draw back your arrow enough, your sight's right, or in this case, their placement on the string is correct. It, and dealing with the nerves and dealing with your heart rate at 120 beats per minute, it's, it's not as easy. as It's quite nerve-wracking, it really is. You can really see if you look down on the field right now, all the targets are at a slight downhill grade, uh, being that the athletes are shooting in the grass area of the upper beach, shooting to the targets that are actually in the sands, which is quite amazing. It really is quite beautiful. Okay, the matches for today, right now we are competing with the Barebow Junior Women Gold Final. Next up will be the Barebow Women's Bronze Final, followed by the Barebow Women's Gold Final, and the Barebow Men's, or Barebow Women, sorry, Barebow Women's Gold Final. Then Junior Men's Final, then the Bronze Men, then the Senior, bron senior Men's, then the Senior Men's Gold. All right, Catherine has some, uh, GBR has some, definitely have some ground to make up. But coming down to the last 45 meter target. Italy is going to shoot first. 10 point lead for Italy going into this first match. A three for Italy on her first arrow. And a one, and a one well, that's not what she's, not what she needs. needs. No, it really isn't. Given that 10 point lead, they're... Another low arrow and from that Italy. And that will push Italy. Really will. Great Over. Britain will be pushed now. Yep. And to four. four. A great shot. I just don't think that'll be enough, to be honest. Honestly, looking at the scores, Italy has it. These arrows are just for formality. Yeah, I do agree. And Italy just sealed the match with a four. Yep. And a great shot by Italy. And with that last three from Great Britain, it's in Italy will be our gold medal winner in the Airbo Junior Women's and the European Champion for 2021. Congratulations. Definitely wait, see, make sure the judges call it, finalize everything. And it's correct, but I do believe that you are correct, Matt. And it is, it is confirmed. Italy wins gold in the Barbo Junior Women's Division. Some great shooting from some great athletes. Silver is nothing to be ashamed of. She shot great. Just a little shy of today. So we're here with our Barebo Junior Women Gold Medalist. How do you feel about your uh, performance today in this uh, upcoming match? I feel good, but at the same time, um, I'm really nervous, and I should really nervous. And but I feel good. It's time, and so I should really good. I think. Good, good. That's my my next question is how was the nerves on this field being a gold medal match? Uh, Pretty stressful. Two great archers going against each other. You guys did come into the ranking first and second seed. So how did how did how does nerves really feel, and how did you deal with those nerves on the on the course? Uh, I feel at first uh, really tired because I was in Mook in uh, Maribor one week ago uh, for 3D competition, and so I started like uh, really tired, and I was. Uh, I don't know how to explain it, but <laughs> and the second day I can I could um, establish my my shot, so I finished first. But then uh, in the matches I, we won like a lot of matches, so <laughs> I I really happy for this. That was some amazing shooter, and there you go, your gold medalist from Italy. Thank you so much.
Okay, coming up now on the short hold we have. Waiting for our next matches to get ready. The next match will be the Barebow Women Bronze Medal match. And it's going to be Sylvania against France. That is definitely going to be an interesting match coming into this. I'm definitely excited to see what happens, to be honest. Qualifying at 7th for Slovenia and 5th for France. They had to fight their way through the pools to make it to this bronze medal match. Here they come. Let's get excited for this match. You're just now joining us. This is the 2021 European Field Championships here in Poric, Croatia. On the left target, representing Slovenia, Tina Kutman. Slovenia is going to be competing on the and left target, France on the right. France, Definitely excited to see what they bring to the table. You definitely hear some of the team spirit behind us getting excited for this. The Slovenian the crowd is definitely out here in force and are cheering on their teammates. They are. And it's, it's nice to hear that. Like yesterday we did hear Italy, Spain, Sweden, a few other countries cheering on their, their athletes. And that really shows the athletes that they're not alone, that they are. They have supporters out there with them. Okay, we're going on to our first target now. This target is going to be a 15-meter target on a 20-centimeter face, which is a tiny target when you really think about it. The, the six ring is just about one to two centimeters wide. So it's trying to hit that target without a sight, without a clicker, without a release. And we're going to start now. Let's see what they bring to the table. France shoots first. That looked like a gold. A nice Five. shot. So a five for France and a two for Slovenia. Still a lot of arrows to be shot, but that was an amazing first arrow from France. Gives you great confidence going into your second shot to know that your first shot was just right there. You know exactly where to aim, exactly what to do. It definitely does. Miss or and it was a miss for France. That was that was uncharis uncharacteristic of her. Really was. I did not see that. I really did not see that coming. And then a, another two for Sylvania. Still but still, that first arrow does really help her, because even with that miss, she's still one point ahead. Sylvania, five to four after two arrows. Two for uh, and it's uh, two also for and it looks like a 2 for France and a 2 for Sylvania. So that really does show that every arrow does count. Even with that miss, miss France was able to pull ahead by 1.6 to 7. France in the lead with 7, Sylvania with 6. Those 20 meter targets, you think being 15 meters away would be just an easy give me a shot, but those targets are just so tiny going into the in the gold margin medal for errors. Yeah, going so into small. the gold medal match, Italy beat Slovenia by only one point for the gold medal match. And then leaving France beating, or France losing to Sweden by only one point as well. So definitely some close matches we've seen um, coming into this match. Definitely excited to see what they offer and how they shoot. Moving on to our second target now. Our second target is going to be a 20 meter target at on a 40 centimeter face. So for these archers, they just have to basically think, oh, this is indoors. This is something I've done just with uh, some weird footing. As you can see, it's a, the front foot is much lower than the back foot. So they have to find comfortable footing. And that's, that's definitely what you see them doing right here really trying to get that stance widened out so they're super supported and sturdy that was a good shot from 
Three. Slovenia. A four just high and a three just high from fr for France. Still some amazing shots. A lot of arrows still to be shot. Can't wait to see how they how they do. The wind is picking up a little bit, you definitely see that. Pair of fours for both of our archers here. Both shooters shot fours. You can see Sylvania is just high and low of that gold ring. She's put one right in the middle and she'd be golden. You just have to split the difference on this shot and she, she will be in that gold ring. I'm excited to see if she can just get in between those two marks and really put that last arrow into the six or five. And another four. I mean, that that's a competitive score. It really is. And a two for France. We have a three-point swing on that target with Slovenia picking, uh, taking a two-point lead over the the French French woman. Yeah, and it's definitely not. It's not not finalized. We'll wait for the judges to finalize the scores and get everything written down. But I do believe going into this next third target, Sylvania will have a two-point lead over France, 18 to 16. And I do personally believe that miss really cost France some points that could have been had. Yeah, and hopefully she needs to not dwell on it. She just needs to move on, recognize her mistake, and Shake it off. Yeah, forge on to the next targets and make better shots. You can definitely feel and see the wind picking up, and look at that beautiful marina we have here. A little bay on the sand on the beach. Scores backdrop for this great tournament. It really is. So we move Here we on. go on the third target. This is really just 75%. I think they're waiting a little bit, make sure the crawl is right, getting everything ready. These further targets are a little harder, and they definitely want to make a little less of a mistake. Yes. A beautiful Sick. shot beautiful from shot. Sylvania. France just trying to get just a little lower and they'll be good to go. Four for France, six for Slovenia. Let's see if Slovenia can uh, repeat that first shot and let's see if France can move her crawl up a little bit more. Four. Just okay. low for France and Slovenia, both fours. It's just out the bottom. Great two shots. Quite exciting going into their final arrow for this target. France really does need to put a six down range to try to make up some of those points and we'll see if she can do that here now. A little bit of flinch you saw there. And another great shot from the Slovenian and a great shot for for France here. Definitely is. And you saw she had a little bit of flinch there, but she held onto the arrow and decided to shoot it anyway. So unofficially the score is thirty four to twenty nine, a five point lead for Slovenia. That gives Slovenia a little cushion going into the last target, but as we saw with the first target, anything can happen, especially the farther targets with the wind picking up here as the day as it gets a little warmer. Definitely, definitely can. Anything can really happen. Going into this final target, this final target being a 45 meter target, really can do anything. Given that their max distance is 50 meters, so five meters less than their max distance, it, a lot of points are still there to be had.
Judges making sure the archers are getting ready as they head down to the 45 meter stake. The crowds are definitely cheering on their favorite archers in the background. Definitely hear them. The wind is starting to pick up as it gets a little warmer here in the day. A breeze coming in off that Mediterranean. Sylvania is going to uh, draw back first. See if they can put two amazing shots downrange. Four. Oh, nice. Four. Uh, just high. Oh, a six. A six the, from France. France. That's definitely what she needed to try to really push and get those points back. That will also put pressure on Slovenia, raising her nerves too. So let's see what they can do. That was a 4-4 four, four Sylvania oh. and a 4-4 four, four France. Definitely see, I don't know if they show the shot for that shot, but Sylvania didn't look very happy with that shot. It caught her by surprise. I think it did. But France here needs at least a 3, and Slovenia just needs a 4 to force a tie and a 5 to guarantee the win. Five. And a 5. A five from so, France. Great shot. That really is. It's a great comeback from our first few mistakes. But we'll see if Sylvania can pull off the win here. Five. And, and with a great like shot, she clinches the gold medal for Slovenia. 47 to 44. <laughs> So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Berbo women bronze medal winner is Sylvania. Worth place to France. Great shooting. Just that one mistake, and this could have. Great shooting from yeah, both countries. Great really shooting was. from both. A few, a few little mistakes that we could see, but it happens. Now we are moving on to our Fairbo Women Gold Medal Match. Two countries competing in this match are... Uh, Italy and Sweden. And those two are... We've seen Italy on this course a lot today and yesterday, I would say, so far. And definitely two very powerful shooters, especially in the Fairbo division. So this is going to be a close match. I'm quite excited to see how they shoot. With Italy's qualifying number one, followed closely behind by Sweden at qualifying number two in a pretty tough course earlier this week. And there you go, another one to two. Like I said before, it's going to be a close match. Really can't call it till it's over. Nope. We see the athletes here getting ready to come out of the chute. 
onto the course, here and go. here they come. This is going to be your gold medal match for the Berbo women's division. Italy against Sweden. Let's see what they can do. Quite excited to see what happens. On the left target, Italy will be shooting. On the right, Sweden. You can see you can, uh, now here Italy behind us really chanting on their groups. Sweden has two groups of of their spectators on opposite sides of the field. And you can, we really do. I don't know if they'll pan the camera around, but you can see Italy behind us right here cheering on their uh, their teammate and Sweden being on the other side of the range cheering on theirs. Exciting match happening. So we start here on a 15 meter target on the 20 meter faces. 15 meter bunny target. 20 centimeter, 20 centimeter face at 15 meters. This has given many of the barebow archers today quite a deal of trouble. So let's see if these two archers can. And again, a low shot. Uh, a high one, Italy. Italy. Maybe she's learned some things watching the other archers. Yeah, and she, she was one of the athletes that shot this course yesterday in the team events. So I definitely that, I think it plays a role a little bit as well. It's going to be a four for Italy to a three for Sweden. Coming into their second arrow now. A four high for Sweden. And a four low. just low for Italy. Amazing shooting so far, going into a third arrow. Can't wait to see what they do shoot. And both of these athletes are very, very, very well known bare bow shooters. Some of the best in the world, actually. Looks like a four for Sweden. Uh, and a five for Italy. Definitely what Italy needed to, to gain a, a good lead over Lena from uh, Sweden. ladies showing why they're in the gold medal match. They have shot the highest uh, score today on this target. Really have. A 13 to 11. And that's been finalized. It is 13 to 11. Italy 13. Sweden 11. A two point lead for Italy going into the second target. And in Berbo, that's not much. It really isn't. No. Anything can happen. As they move down to the 20 meter target on the 40 centimeter face. Definitely quite exciting moment for both athletes. Sweden really trying to get her a solid foothold. This is probably the worst footing situation of any of the four targets today. It really is. And we've seen we've seen footings from super wide like Italy to super narrow like Sweden. So everybody has their own personal preference of what how they like to shoot. Oh with a five. A pair of fives for both athletes. That is a beautiful great shot by both countries. Let's see if Sweden can make up some of those points that she did lose on the birdies against Italy. Italy now shooting her second shot. Four high. A little high. A little high. Oh, three. Let's see how Sweden 
can retaliate to that. Yes! And oh, a and stick. a six. That's that exactly what she, what she needed. It really is. And that will put Sweden up by one point. Unofficially. One to go. Unofficially. Like I said, in this division, in this course, anything can happen. It's not final till the last arrow is shot. Five. And another five from no, great Italy. And a great shot from Italy. Middle arrow just got her off a little bit. 20 seconds on the clock for her final arrow. She tried to... Tries to put two there. Put two arrows there. So I had one loaded. You see, that's where the nerves really come and play. You feel it. Less than 10 seconds on the clock. Six, five. And oh, and a, five. Five. and a five in 10 seconds. That really shows that barebow shooters are quite fast. When it fast comes to and a shooting. Even with the high stakes of this match, it didn't seem to affect her on that one. She really didn't. She probably could have had, probably could have waited another second or two, and she would have been fine. Amazing shooting. Amazing shooting. So scores have been officiated. Officiated? Officiated. Scores are confirmed. Um, it is 26 to 27. Sweden with a one point lead. And you can hear Italy in the background really cheering on their teammate. It's almost like the Italy and the Sweden crowds are competing against each other to who can be the loudest. Almost. I wish I wish Sweden was over here so we could hear them <laughs> have their chance Ooh. as well. There's a few Swedens behind us. Swedish behind us. It is confirmed. Lena picks up two po three points in that one to take the lead by one at 27 to 26 in favor of the Swedish archer. So they move on to their 30 meter target on a 60 centimeter face. That definitely is an exciting shot. Still a lot of points to be had. Nowhere near the completion of this match. Let's see what Sweden and Italy can do. Four. Okay. Four for Sweden. Three from Italy. Both low. Both low, and that is going to give Sweden another one point in the in their way to the lead. Let's see if both of them can make adjustments to their crawl and really get these next two arrows in gold. Another four for Sweden and a five for Italy. So Italy did indeed make that comeback on that la on that shot. Claw claws back one point. This is their final arrow. Let's see what happens. It looks like the Sweden archer is having some string issues. It looks. Looks like her knocking point has come loose. Which is not a good sign, but seems to have fixed it. And a five for Italy. So five, five, three for Italy. And a four. And, and a four, four, four for Sweden. And Tied. that will tie the score up unofficially here as the judges check. Well, as we, we go into the final target, it seems that Italy and Sweden will be tied. Going to that last target going into the longest target we have here today. And then again, that really proves that anything can happen in this division. You definitely see the athletes behind us cheering on their
scores are confirmed. Scoring for confirmed the judges, to, the archers to be ready to start their final target as they walk down to the 45 meter stake on the 80 centimeter face on target number four. With the winner of this face, we'll take the match. You can see him digging into the dirt, trying to get that nice solid footing. This is a 45 meter shot on an 80 centimeter face. So it is quite a far distance on quite a small face. But that being said, that is the biggest face of field archery. Sweden is going to start, followed by Italy. Ooh. Just a little right there, good All height right. though. And a high for Italy. High two. High two for Italy and a three for Sweden. Still two more arrows to go. A lot of pressure. Let's see if they can hold on to that lead. Three from Italy. And a two. Score is still tied. One arrow. Going in this last arrow, the score is tied. Nina asking for more crowd support, more cheering. 40 seconds on the clock, going in their last arrow for Italy. And it's a five. That puts a lot of pressure on the archer from Sweden. But she is a well-known, well-respected archer. I think she knows how it feels. And a three. Just out. Italy will take, unofficially, the gold medal. Sweden taking the silver. And Italy is your 2021 European field champion. We head to talk to the Italian archer. Okay, that is a, that is a big shock. Um, how did how did it feel going tied into your literally your final arrow on that target? How did that feel? How was the nerves on that last shot when you were able to pull off that five? Uh, yes, I was very nervous. I know that uh, uh, we were uh, fail. I think only I tried to shoot as you know. Uh, not more. <laughs> That was some amazing shooting. Lina is a big archer, so it, everything. <laughs> and you both are big athletes, big bare boat shooters, uh, well-known shooters from both countries. So I'm very proud of both both of you. But good job on your gold medal. And uh, I hope you can go celebrate now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. No problem. Now going into our going into our fourth match of the day. Our Barebow Junior Men 
gold medal match. Sweden against, guess who? Italy, Italy. again. Oh, really shows how much of a superpower Italy is in field archery. And we do see Leo here, Leo Peterson. He did recently come back from a 3D European Championship in Sylvania and placed first in the senior division. So definitely an athlete to follow, definitely an athlete to watch and see how he shoots today in this match. Leo did place first in the ranking round, followed by Mateo. Italy placing second. Once again, another 1-2 Cs shows that these archers are not only good during the qualification rounds, but also good under pressure and in the head-to-head -head matches. Sweden will be on the left target, Italy on the right. Let's see what these athletes can do. I do believe it's going to be a close match. Oh, it definitely will be. I'm excited to see. Italy's going to draw back first. Sweden, Sweden drilling six. that six on her first shot. Italy just low, low four. Definitely something to take into consideration. Let's see if he can make a comeback from that. Sweden, a four just out on the top target. Another four for four just Italy. Low. And again, this is a 15 meter shot on a 20 centimeter face. So quite a long way for a small target face. Given that the yellow is the size of a 10 on a 40. It's also the Barebow's longest distance at this face with a four, a four for Sweden. High. A three for Italy. That's going to give Sweden a lead out the gate. But like we've seen through this whole match so far, there will be... Most of our matches started with one, one archer leading on the birdie target but then ended up losing that lead on the next one or two targets. So this is still anyone's match. It really is. Unofficially, it's 14 to 11. Sweden in the lead over Italy. With the Swedish artist Leo having the highest score today for the Bear Bows on, the, on that particular target. We definitely hear Italy and Sweden behind us now cheering on their teammates. You see the athletes getting ready. You see the coach talking to his archer about it could be anything. It could be grade. It could be the way the wind's blowing. The wind is picking up here as it's getting warmer in the day. Or they could just be talking about something to get their mind off of archery and to clear the mind so that they can refocus back on to this <laughs> next 20 meter target. And that could definitely be the fact, indeed. 20 meters on a 40 centimeter face. Quite excited to see what these athletes bring to the table. Officially, Sweden is in the lead by three points. And we drawing first. Sweden taking a, a five. five. Great shot. Five for Sweden, a four just low for Italy. Two great shots, but Italy really needs to turn up that that fire. Just needs to aim just a little higher. Definitely needs those golds to try to make up some points. A four for Sweden. Just out. And a three for Italy. I think you can definitely, f I bet the, those athletes are definitely feeling the nerves and are a little, a little shit stressed. Just but this is, this is what it is. Yeah. This is what they've signed up for. This is the, the life they love, the sport they love. So it is nerve wracking, but I bet they are enjoying every second of it. Oh, uh, yes, they are. And that is a low shot from Leo. 
He does not look happy with that shot. I don't think he knows what really happened, but we'll have to figure out. And the tee. And a 4-5 line for Italy. Which will give Italy only a three-point deficit with the possibility of only a two-point deficit, picking up, possibly picking up one point that match. We'll wait for the judge's official decision on that one. It definitely is close, though. It really is. And you can definitely hear those athletes behind us cheering on their teams. You have Italy here, Sweden here, really cheering on their teams right behind us, and it's fantastic. It gives us chills. The spectators are having their own competition here of who, who can, be the, can be the loudest. Exactly. And so far, we have to give the medal to Italy. They've really been the loudest. That and Spain. Spain yesterday. Oh, yeah. And then we'll, we'll hear some from Spain in a little bit. So I'm excited to hear what they bring. To that the arrow was officially declared a four, so that was a tied target, giving a three-point lead to Sweden. Moving into the 30-meter target on the 60-centimeter face. This target definitely has the best footing of any of the four targets we'll see today. It really does. At least for the bare bows. Forty meter target on a sixty centimeter face. Leo starts out with a three low and left. See if Italy can gain some points here. Oh, and, and he does, he does. just that. He takes the opportunity and drills the gold. Really puts the pressure on Sweden to keep that lead going. Four and that was right next to the next first to one. A little higher. Yeah. We'll see if Italy can make up some more points here. And he does. He another, does. Five. another five. And we are all tied. This is where it really comes down to your final arrows making a big difference. And a five there we go. for Leo. Sweden, a five. This is really going to put the pressure on Italy to maintain that tie or get him by one point. And he does with, he a, does six. with a six. That is fantastic. Italy fighting right back. Taking that three-point deficit and turning into a one-point lead with the highest score I believe we've seen on this face today. And just like that, you can see in the Barebow division. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. Leads can disappear and deficits can disappear. Now going into our final target. This target is going to be a 45 meter target on an 80 centimeter face. Definitely excited to see what they bring to the table on this last target. It's only a one point lead for Italy. And I wonder if he can maintain that lead. It will be a difficult one as we move here to the 45 meter f distance on the 80 centimeter face. And it's a four out four and a three. three. That's what put them tied. Which we give us a tie tied score. Two arrows to go on the final target. Again, this is the Barebo Junior Men's Gold Medal Match. Leo putting down another four. 
two fours. And a four for Mateo. A pair of fours for both. And that, it all comes down to this arrow. Really does. They're tied. And another four, maybe a five. A and five. a five. Oh. This really comes down to this line call on this four or five line. I can look and try to see what I can see from here. But I think we'll have to wait for the judges to call it. If Leo's arrow is uh, upgraded to a five, we will have a single arrow shoot off on this exact target. And it, is a, it, is, it is a tie, I believe. Uh, I'll wait for the judges to qualify it. One of the archers said it was. We'll wait. We'll wait for the judges' official declaration. And we have and a tie. Hi, let's go. The first shoot off of the day. Fantastic shooting from both countries. Like I said, this will be a close match, and it definitely was. Going back and forth all the way through. And can't get any closer than a tie with a one arrow shoot, shoot off. And hopefully they'll break out the micrometer for this next shot. Oh, this. If you're just now joining us, welcome to the 2021 European Field Championships here in Croatia. Croatia. As we lead down here to the single arrow that will decide the 2021 European Field Champion for the Junior Barebow Men. It's a lot of stress. I, I bet there is. There really is. A four high. Let's see what Italy can shoot. And, and a five. five. Italy takes the win. Fantastic shooting from both teams. As a gold medal for Italy with a silver for Sweden. Fantastic, Fantastic shooting by both and a great match. Sweden has nothing to be ashamed of with a fantastic performance today. But the gold medal will go to Matteo of Italy. As we head out to the Italian archer to listen from him. Fantastic shooting from both Italy and Sweden in that match. How did you feel and coming into that one arrow shoot off that last that last arrow really? How was your nerves? Uh, yes, uh, I am uh, I'm much nervous, but uh, it's a beautiful uh, competition. And that is indeed true. That's a good way to look at it. So you guys both shot incredibly well in the ranking rounds coming into this. How are your matches going up through into the gold medal match? Hai capito? No, allora, hai tirato molto bene durante le fasi di qualificatoria. Eh, come sono andati i match andando avanti durante la gara? Uh, uh, when uh, I go um, in uh, quando sono andato avanti durante la gara è stato insomma ho tirato così e così, però alla fine piano piano ce l'ho fatto. Insomma. During the match it was really so so, but uh, in the end uh, uh, he get uh, comfortable so uh, he got it, and he, he is really happy about it. Good. And that's fantastic. And there you go. That's going to be your Barbo Junior Men Gold Champion. Congrats. If you're still here, if you're looking at the screen now and seeing this beautiful bay that we have, 
And a little Torbo coming in to dock. Really is fantastic. Okay, now going into our barebow men bronze medal match. It is going to be Sweden versus Germany. I say Deutschland. Deutschland first. Uh, first uh, German here we've had today, but won't be the last. It, it is the first German we've had here today, and hopefully not the last. That is indeed true. Sweden is going to be on the left target. Germany on the right. Going in this match, Sweden actually ranked sixth in the rank in the on the ranking round, where Germany ranked fifth. So there again, another two very close shooters. They had, the, they they had to fight through the pools to make it to the semifinals just to be here today. They did. Again, this is a Barebow Men Bronze Medal match. And they are going to start. On the 15 meter target at a 20 centimeter face. The max distance for the Barebows on this face and a very tiny target. Let's see how they do. It looks like a three for Sweden and a two for Germany after that first arrow. Let's see if they can make some small changes and make a comeback after that first arrow. And a five, oh, six. And That's a six. Seems, seems like Sweden has found where he needs to aim for this target. And Germany, Germany is getting closer. Getting closer, just not there as fast as Sweden was. Four. And a four for Sweden. Forty seconds on the clock. And, and a, a six, six for Rills it. Germany. And that will give unofficially Sweden a one point lead. But as we've seen today, a one point lead can vanish very quickly. It's anybody's game at this point. It oh, really seems is. like there's some questions on uh, Germany's last arrow. Wait and see what the judges call. Unofficially, it's 13 to 11. Sweden in the lead by two points, but we shall see here in a second. Scores are being verified, and it was a six for Germany. So that's going to be a 13 to 12 in the favor of Sweden. Sweden, 13 points. Germany, 12. One point lead for Sweden. And one point is nothing. We move to our second target, a 20 meter target on a 40 centimeter face. Let's see what they bring to the table for their shots. Sweden, a four just out to the left. And a six mm. from Germany. It's exactly what he needed to get some extra points on Sweden. And as you can see, it just flip-flopped the leads there. Eric here steps up. With a five. Four. The 
Sweden four from five. Michael of Germany. Good let down from Sweden. 48 seconds on the clock. Plenty of time for one arrow. Really trying to make that arrow perfect, or as perfect as he can. Germany on their last arrow. And a four, I believe, for Germany. And that's verified at four. And a, and a six, six from Sweden. Eric and a four from Michael. Give Sweden a two-point lead over Michael of Germany. Unofficially, it was... 15 to 14 on that target. Sweden in the lead by one point. And it has been verified, a 28-point lead for Eric and a 26-point, sorry, 28 points for Eric, 26 points for Michael. Sweden in the lead by two points. Sweden is first to full draw. Beautiful shot. And a fantastic for shot for Eric. See if Germany can follow. And he and does. Six for Michael as well. Strong shots for both athletes. Let's see if they can duplicate those first two first shots. Just slightly Five. low. Still a good shot, amazing shot. They, they have found their aiming point for this target. Let's see if Michael. Michael can second match. arrow now. And a five and he as does. well. And another six for Eric. Amazing shooting. Let's see if Michael from Germany can keep that tied score for this butt. And it's going to be a five. A giving great Sweden shot, one though. more point. Still two amazing scores. Unofficially, it is Eric 45 to Michael 42. Three point lead for Eric. Fantastic shooting by both archers. Combined scores as the highest of anyone we've seen today. And now they move on after the judges call their arrows to the final 45 meter target on a 60 centimeter face, uh, sorry, an 80 centimeter face. Where we've seen so many matches come down to the final arrow. Two amazing teams shooting head to head. We'll see what happens here shortly. And their final target is on the way. Again, this is a 45 meter target on an 80 centimeter face. Let's see how this happens. Let's see how this goes. Eric is up first. And he's going to shoot a four to the left. 
Let's see if Germany can make up some points. Good shots for Michael. And a four low. Uh, both shot fours, Eric and Michael. As Eric comes up to shoot. A 5-4 line low for Eric. Amazing shot. Eric calling the four. Uh, but Eric is just putting the pressure on Michael to perform here. Let's see if he can match him or best him. See what Michael can do now. And he and does. Six. That's a beautiful shot. Let's see. He has and one he more of those. And he just pinwheels the target. Don't get much closer than that. Eric was with a four. To guarantee a tie, Michael needs to shoot a six. He really, this is really a lot of pressure on this last arrow from Michael of Germany. And it's a four. Oh. I think that's going to call it unofficially. Sweden has won. Unofficially, Eric Unofficial will take Eric. the bronze. Fantastic shooting by both archers. Really was. Eric is going to, and it's been verified, Eric has won the Bear Boat Men's Bronze Medal. Fantastic shooting from both countries and both archers. And with the closest arrow today to the center, Michael is fourth place at the European Field Championships. He's still pretty good, though I'm sure he's disappointed not to t be taking home a medal. Here shortly we will start our Berbo Senior Men's Gold Medal Match between Caesar of Espana and Martin of Sweden. And we're definitely going to hear some very loud cheers cheering. from uh, <laughs> from uh, Spain here. Excited to see what happens. Going in this match for the Berbo Men's Gold Medal Match, Spain, Caesar from C Spain was your first place ranking round individual and Martin from Sweden was second. So there again, another 1-2 match. So it should be very close, very professional. If they show the camera over to the Commentator's tent. You see Spain really getting ready with the flags and preparing to cheer. Excited to see what happens. If we look out here on the beautiful bay, out looking onto the Adriatic Sea. A beautiful backdrop to a fantastic tournament. As the archers come out here. Archers leading the shoot now. Let's see what they can do. And this is the Barebow Men's Gold Medal Match. If you're just now joining us, welcome to the 2021 European Field Championships here in Porek. Croatia. Porec. Definitely hear the. Definitely hear both teams supporting their athletes, making sure that they know they're not alone out here.
guys, we start here for the gold medal match on the 15 meter birdie on the 20 centimeter face. Again, two great shooters, ranked first and second. Martin from Sweden and Cesar, Cesar from Spain. Martin will come to full draw first. Spain will be on the left target, Sweden on the right. So Both match. athletes shot a high four for their first arrow. A three for Martin of Sweden. This is definitely where Caesar from Spain can make a few points or gain a few points here. And he does just and that with a, a high great five. shot from Caesar. Amazing shot. There's Martin here. Oh, this is his last shot for this target. And I believe a low 5-4 line for Martin. And they called it a 4 asterisk. So, it is on that line. And an amazing shot from Caesar. It's a, just high. A uh, high 3 to end the target for Caesar. We will see what the judges say. Either it will be, be all tied or... Espana will have a one point lead. So you can hear the Spanish crowd is uh, here in full force today. They are. They're, they're probably Italy's number one rival when it comes to cheering. Both countries have a lot of team spirit and are not afraid to show it, that's for sure. Verifying scores now. We'll wait to hear from the judges if they've tied this set or if Caesar has a one point lead over Martin. Hearing from the judges, it is a tied score. Or maybe not. I'm waiting for them to update us. It looks like Sweden did not get that one point and it was a four. Going into the second target. As we've seen today, a one point lead. So, one point lead for is Spain. Nothing. But that is nothing. That really isn't. That could be overtaking one arrow. The wind is picking up as it gets a little warmer here today. And a four. Four from Cesar for Spain. and a five. Almost a six. Martin. A few millimeters out. It's currently 26 degrees Celsius here in Boric, Croatia. Sweden on their second shot. So is Spain. Six from our team. Six for yep. Sweden. And a four for Caesar of Spain. Amazing shooting for both teams, both athletes. And a five from Sweden. Martin. Yeah. Okay. 
And a beautiful six from Spain. And we see a flip-flops of a one-point lead with Martin leading one over Cesar. Going into the third target as the judges verify the score. Unofficially, the score is 26 to 27, with Sweden in the lead with 27 points. And it has been officially, it has been, it is official. Sweden is in the lead by one point over Spain. We have a beautiful day here in Poresh. Croatia, where it's the beautiful view. Backdrop to the 2021 European Field Championships. As we head to the 30 meter target on the 60 centimeter face. Sweden will shoot first. Martin, full draw, followed by Caesar. It's a three for Caesar and a five for Martin. For Martin. Curious to see if he can pull off what he did on his last target on this target. Keep them all in the gold. Oh, just um, out low. See if a three. Cesar can capitalize. And he does. And a four Pick for Caesar. Picking up one more point to cut the lead to two. And a and fantastic a six. shot by Martin. Making it quite hard for Seizure of Spain to make a comeback. And another three for Seizure of Spain. Unofficially, Martin leading by five points. As they go into the farthest target today, a 45 meter target on this 80 centimeter face. Unofficially, it's 41 to 36. Sweden in the lead. It's a five point lead for Sweden. A five point lead for Sweden. Five point lead for Sweden. With Spain and Sweden attempting to out cheer each, each other. other here. You definitely see them here cheering loudly right where we are in the tent. Cassandra of España is the loudest member here of the Spanish team, leading the whole Spanish crowd. I know I could not do that with my voice. I know that for sure. So we go into the final target. Final six arrows. And a six. That's, a six. That's four exactly four. what I needed. Exactly what I needed. Make up some of those points. Sweden lets down. You can see the wind is starting to pick up. If you look at the flags on the beach, you can see. It is starting to blow a little harder. Let's see if he can pull off another amazing shot like his first. He does a high four. That's a pretty good shot. Pretty good shot. Four. Sweden with a four.
Mm-hmm. Final arrow for Spain. And it's a three. Ooh. Not that, what he needed. Not what he needed. We will see. Sweden ha- still has two arrows to shoot with only 25 seconds on the clock. And it's a four. Four. And that will guarantee 18, a tie. 18 He's seconds on the clock. All he has to do is hit a scoring ring. With 10 seconds to go. Five, four, and it's a three. A three. There you go. And Sweden not the b- takes it. Not the best shot, but it's good enough to take Martin gold. Martin takes the gold. For Martin of Sweden with silver taking for Cesar of España. And officially, Martin Antosan is our European field champion for 2021. And your silver medalist is Cesar Vera Bringas from España. I apologize if in the interviews you cannot hear having some technical difficulties with the mic, uh, handheld mic. That was our final match for the Barebows today. We move on to the Recurve Junior Women Gold Medal match between Beatrice of Romania and I apologize if I get this wrong, Mecca of Slovenia. Excited to see how this goes. Again, this is going to be our Recurve Junior Women's Gold Medal Match. Recurve Junior Women's Gold Medal Match. Beatrice ranked sixth in the round, in the round, uh, in the ranking rounds, where. Matika from Slovenia ranked third. As the archers make their way onto the field, Romania will be shooting on the left target, while Slovenia will be shooting on the right target. Definitely some excitement to be had here. They look quite happy about it. This is our first showing of Romania today, but it will not be our last as her teammate and the junior men's will be shooting for gold. You 
can hear yeah, both good. Romania and Slovenia are uh, having their own competition of who can cheer loudest for their archer. Exactly. And they're right near the commentator tent, so it can get a little loud in here. Yes, and now we move okay. to, in my opinion, one of the most difficult targets you will have in field. The 20 meter target it really is. on the 20 centimeter faces. A lot of people don't realize if you shoot an indoor target, a 40 centimeter indoor target, the 10 ring on that indoor target is the exact same size as the whole entire gold on these small itty bitty and targets. The X is the same size for both. So it's it's crazy. So okay. both, both countries have start a off pair of with threes. a three. Definitely feel the stress. You can see the archer from Romania taking a deep breath before starting to take her second shot. And it worked and on the five. And it hits the gold. See Slovenia taking her second shot now. It's a high three. Let's see her split the difference and really put one into the gold. Got a let down, which is fine. Still plenty of time on the clock. The wind is picking up a little bit. And, and you really want to be precise on these targets. Yeah, the slightest air can push that off. Good shot. Three. For Beatrice. And a four, and a four for, for Metka. For Metka. Oh, no. Unofficially giving Beatrice a one point advantage over her Slovenian counterpart with a score of 11 to 10. You can definitely hear him behind us cheering right here. It's quite exciting to hear them cheering on their teammates. Almost gives you chills. Now we move on to the 40 Second centimeter target. target, which I believe is at 30 and is, meters. And it was uh, verified. Beatrice meters, of meters. Romania has a one-point lead over Metka of Slovenia. Five. Beatrice, a a high five. Shot Amazing Mecca. shot for Beatrice. Metka's first shot now. It's going to be a four just out to the left. Still two good arrows, a lot of points still to be had. Yep. Let's, say if, let's see if Beatrice from Romania can copy her first arrow. Mech. Uh -huh. And that's a four five that line. That will have to be a judge call. And now we have Metka from Slovenia on her second arrow. And it is a 4-5 or five line. I believe and it's in, but probably will be a judge call as well. And they verified as a judge call. And a Ooh, 6 and a for Romania. Amazing shots. Beatrice. Excited to see what they call that 4-5 or five line that's down there. For both shooters. This is where... Metka really needs a 6 or 5. And a six. And he pulls off a six. Look at that. That is some amazing shooting from both shooters. And you definitely hear them behind us now cheering on their teammates. They are not holding back and showing their support for their teammates. And it is fantastic. 
with the possibility of a three point lead to a one point lead depending on those two arrow calls for Beatrice of Romania. And they're looking on the ma out through magnifier glass, trying to figure out what those arrows actually are. That really means it's close. If all the arrows were just waiting on it to reach our ears. Waiting on the verification of the score. And the scores have been verified. Romania got her arrow 4-5 line in, but looks like Metka from Slovenia did not. Yeah, giving uh, Beatrice from Romania a three-point lead over, over Metka. Metka. Going into the third target, still a lot of arrows to be shot at the halfway point now. We move over to the 60 centimeter face. Plenty of time, 100 seconds on the clock still to go. Metka from Slovenia is now going. And it's a four. I believe a five, four. Five. She's increasing her lead, but as we saw with the bare bows, this can, this will probably come down to the final arrow. Let's see if she can keep him in the gold, making two more strong shots. The wind is, yeah, the wind is picking up. I did see that coming. Forty-seven seconds on the clock. Ooh, a six and a from beautiful so shot from Mecca. Beatrice now drawing back for her second arrow, and that was a five-six line. I believe they called it a five. Seventeen seconds on the clock, starting to really push that time. And uh, another great shot. Another five for Metka of Slovenia. And a four for Beatrice of Romania. Good shooting from both. That will unofficially give Beatrice a two point lead going into the final target. Waiting on verification of the scores now from the judges. And the scores are official. Oh, now they are with a three point lead as one of the arrows were upgraded. 42 to 39. Uh, 42 in favor of Beatrice Romania. from Romania.
Alright, as we go into the last target for this match, a 55 meter target on the 80 centimeter face. Romania shoots first. Quick shot. And it's a four out to the right. Good height, though. For Beatrice. Can Mika answer? The deck. It's Metzka's turn now. Definitely needs to make some points up. And it's also a four. A little low, a little left. A three for Beatrice of Romania on her second arrow. And a oh. five for Metka of Slovenia. Metka with a five, maybe a six. Beatrice did not look Good happy about that shot, and it was a three to the left, I believe. And as, and now we'll come down to the last arrow. Metka needing a five to take the match. A four will tie this. Wind is picking up. 17 seconds on the clock. 15 seconds. And a two. Oh, two and up by the wind. Definitely feel the pressure. Definitely Still feel fantastic the pressure. shooting by Mika. But not good enough to edge out Beatrice of Romania. As, as we head to see what our 2021 European Junior women's recurve gold medalists will have to say. Okay, Recurve Junior Women's Gold Medalist. How does that feel? It's feeling very good. I was uh, confident the entire match, and uh, I just feel very good. Uh, uh, quick question. How did the weather affect you at all today? Uh, on, on the show? At the start, it was fine, but the one thing that we did not make a the In the right side, there is a Feel amazing. <laughs> Look at you representing Romania and bringing home medals. Congratulations. Now we head on to the senior women's recurve bronze medal match versus Anna of Slovenia and Gabby of the Netherlands. Yes, from the Netherlands. On the left target will be Anna, and on the right will be Gabby. Gabby. Gabby? Sorry. Anna qualified number one seed with Gabby qualifying eight.
you'll definitely hear some team cheering behind us right now. And the wind is picking up. If they show out towards the uh, marina, you see the wind is really blowing. The flags are really waving. And it is picking up. So we move to the 20 meter target. Yes, and that is true. We moved pegs to 20 meters now. And on the 20 centimeter face, probably the most difficult shot. And is wasting no time getting straight into it. A two to the right. Gabby taking her time. And a five. And it really shows her time. Red the wind. Great shot on that one. Let's see if she can multiply that again. Anna coming into her second shot now. Along with Gabby. Along with Gabby. Anna lets down, I believe, Gabby's second shot was a 4-5 line at 2 o'clock. A 5-6 line for Gabby to end it off. Amy still have two arrows to shoot with 51 seconds on the clock. A three out the left. Anna with one arrow to go. 35 seconds on the clock. Five. And a five. Going into this match, actually, Anna was your number one ranked Arthur archer, uh, where Gabby was actually your number eighth ranked archer. But I do know Gabby is more of a target archer. Mm -hmm. um, First time today in the se seniors we've her, had a number one make it to the bronze. I know, and I think I think it's actually Gabby's first field competition, I believe. Mm -hmm. I think we I can see here Denisa of Slovakia uh, beat Anna uh, by nine, and then I apologize again, Sharara of Italy beat Gabby Saucer by three in the semifinals, leading to this match here today. So we move on to the 25 meter target on the 40 centimeter faces. Again, this is a far away for those tiny faces. It really is quite some amazing shooting. Anna not wasting any time getting straight into that first arrow. And that is a five. Amazing shot. Let's see if Gabby can rebuttal to that. And then five she does. as a well. Look at them both go. Both of these archers are very good archers in their own right. Four. Gabby, a four low. Let me give a side a few clicks. Anna. A five. Oh, just out. Six. You see a great her shot a side, a by few Anna. Clicks due to the wind. And a three. And I believe that she caught her shirt on that arrow. She just told her uh, coach, but we'll see. And it has one arrow to go. Definitely excited to see how this arrow goes. She did move her sight a little bit to the left. And let's see if that helps. And yeah, five. Does. Amazing height, just a little bit high. Amazing left, right, just a little, sorry. Amazing left, right, just a little bit high. And Anna cuts Gabby's lead by one, or down to one, to be more precise, with a score of 26 to a 25.
favor of Gabby of the Netherlands as the judges confirm the scores. Again, this really proves that anything can happen with these archers. And they're off on their third target. At the halfway point now, Anna is down by one point to Gabby, 26 to 25. So they move over to the 35 meter target on the 60 centimeter face. Anna again, the first archer to shoot an arrow. Really out that gate, she likes to be the number one archer to shoot. Oh, and a beautiful shot. And a six. You see the wind pick up a little bit there on that shot, and Gabby did let down, which is fine. And a five, everything's Just high for the target. Five. Let's see if Anna can duplicate her first shot. She does. It is in the gold. Gabby, another five. Judges are getting their workouts in today. Judging all these very close line calls that we've been having. Definitely as a seagull up. is trying to avoid being shot. There's <laughs> a few of those, Matt. A few of those. Four, Gabby finishes this target with a four. Six, and a and six. another six oh, for yeah. Anna. Which will give Anna a lead of one, potentially two, depending on that 5-4 liner. Definitely hear the athletes behind us cheering on their teammates. Moving on to their final target. This target is a 55-meter, 80-centimeter face shot. So it is quite a little way away. And in this wind, it's going to be even harder than normal. This, and this is some pretty... Pretty stout wind. Apologize if you hear it in the microphone. Trying our best not to. And that arrow was, that four was upgraded to a five, giving Anna of Slovenia a two point lead over Gabby of the Netherlands. Going yes. to our final target now. There's still six arrows to shoot. There's a lot of points to be had. And these wi this wind flags, the winds, the flags, everything are really, really, really blowing. The wind is really picking up, and on the farthest target, the wind is definitely going to be a lot larger factor than the other three. Indeed, very true. Again, Anna is going to lead the set shooting first and there's a four high just out of the definitely gold. some room here for Gabby to make up for four. and a four low for Gabby's two sets of four two fours Gabby's up now. 
Actually, your second arrow. She let down. You definitely feel the wind, the little breeze that came through. You the camera pans over and you see the little flags. You can really see that they're sticking straight out. Anna and Gabby at full draw now. You see a little bit of shake in Anna's form. There's a six and a anyway. beautiful shot. And a six by Gabby. Coming down to the final arrow. And a four, I believe, four, just out four. on the right side. And then needs a three here to clinch the bronze medal. Five, and she takes it. That's a good shooting from both houses. You can hear uh, the teams behind us celebrating for their teammates. But that is right. Anna did win the bronze medal for the recurve women. Great shooting for both teams. And it is confirmed. Anna Umar of Slovenia takes the bronze medal in the 2021 European Field Championships. Congratulations. Have a small little break as we're preparing for the recurve women's gold medal match. And it's going to be Denizia from Slovakia versus Jara from Italy. And I apologize if I butchered those names, but I'm trying. Again, this is the recurve gold medal match. Recurve women's gold medal match. Denizia from Slovakia and Chesia from Italy. And here they come. And this again is the gold medal match. We're just now tuning in. Welcome to the 2021 European Field Championships here in Poreč, Croatia. On the left-hand side, we will have... Sorry, on the left-hand target, we will have... My apologies. On the left-hand target, we will have Denizia from Slovakia. And on the right-hand target, we'll have Chiria from Italy. Chiara. Or apologies, Chiara from Italy. Chiara. <laughs> All right, as we start here on the 20, 20 meter birdie meter target. Birdie. 
or birdie tar or bunny targets. Slovakia is going to shoot first. Denizia from Slovakia. Yes. And that looked like a good Solid shot. Five. Solid five. For Denizia. We apologize again if we are informed as Denisa. Denisa. And Kara. Kiara. A four. A four for Kiara. And a four. No, that's wrong. Come up to our final arrow for Denizia and Kiara. Another four. And a four for Denizia. Let down for Tiara. Plenty of time on the clock still, 30 seconds. Four. And I believe another four for Giara. Unofficially, that puts the Ninza. Alright, the scores have been confirmed with Denisa of Slovakia leading by two. Over Kara from Italy with 11 points. Denisa 13, Kara 11. Two-point lead for Slovakia. We'll be on to the second target now. Now on to the 25-meter target on the 40-centimeter faces. The two-point lead to Denisia. Went a solid five, just a tad high. Good shots for both. And another five for Giara. Let's see if she can make up the points here on Slovakia. And a six for the Denisa. Kara did have a letdown. Still plenty of time on the clock. And a four for the Denisa. Fifteen total for Slovakia. A five for, for Kiara, five for Kiara as she moves into her final arrow. Plenty of time still left on the clock. Twenty-seven seconds. Four. A high four for Kiara. Unofficially, the score is twenty-eight for the Ninja and twenty-five for Kiara. Slovakia leading by three points. Ninth position for the Denisa Barankov after the qualification round. Second place for the Kiara Remagnati. Going back to into the semi final where she established just at 61 58. Here, if you look at the recurve women's brackets for 
this past two days, you can see that and cheery behind us. You can see the how Kiara did versus Gabby and the Niza versus Anna. Now we move into our third target, a 35 meter uh, distance on a 60 centimeter face. We just now joining us is the 2021 European Field Championships here in Boric, Croatia. And this is the Recurve Women's Gold Medal match. Anita shooting first. Yeah, a solid five. Good shot. So if Chiara can make some points up here. That's, and she and shoots that a is liner. upgraded to a six, and she will pick up a point. Definitely see the wind blowing in from the sea. A little breezy. That's okay. Denise is now on her second arrow. And it is a four right, just low we'll and just left. Kiara on her second arrow now. Let's down. Plenty of time on the clock. The wind is picking up. So that is a smart decision in my eyes. The Ninza up now. For her third and final oh arrow for this target. Good. And it was a five. That's another Good five. Shot. And a four for Chiara. Another four for Chiara. Unofficially, the scores are 42 to 38 in favor of Denicia of Slovakia. But it could be reduced to a three-point lead if that five is upgraded to a six. We'll wait for the judges to here it tell is. us the scores. Beautiful weather today here in Boric, Croatia. It is currently 25 degrees Celsius, 42% humidity, and a southeast wind of eight kilometers. The wind has picked up three kilometers since our first match this morning and has temperatures raised by five Celsius. You could definitely feel it out in the sun where we are in the shade. It is quite nice with that breeze. But I do know as the athletes are out there in the sun and in the wind, I bet they wish for less breeze and more clouds today. Personally, I would take the, the heat over the breeze. It makes it a lot easier it to is, focus just on the distance and, and not. it was confirmed. Kiara's 5-6 line was a 6, so that decreases her disadvantage by 3 points. So Denisa has a 3-point advantage over Kiara. So Moving on to the final target now. It's a 55-meter, 80-centimeter face. Three arrows per athlete. Let's see if Kiara can make up some points on Denisa. Yeah. There's a four for Denizia. Strong letdown for Kiera, but that is okay. Still plenty of time on the clock. Denise now pulling back for her second arrow. And is a four low. And another four. Kiara. Still on her first draw. arrow. And is a four. Okay. 
45 secondi ora. Bene davanti e prosegui. The Ninsa on her last arrow. Your second arrow is a six. And another four for Denisia. This is really where she's going to have to pull a five or six out. A, for this fi match. a five will tie. It and it's a, a five. five. And we have assuming a tie the scores are officially. Assuming the scores are official, we will be going to a single arrow shoot off on the very same target we just shot. Excuse me, I had to sneeze. Unofficially, it is a tie 54 to 54 for the Nincia of Slovakia and Chiara of Italy. Just waiting on the signal from the judge. And we do and have officially have a tie. <laughs> What One arrow match. per athlete. And this shoot off. One arrow per athlete for this shoot off. At their last target. And the wind is picking up. Not making it easy on them today. That is for sure. This one arrow will decide the 2021 European field champion for the female recurve. Both athletes have been shooting quite strong. So I'm excited to see what happens here. Chiara up first. Wind is picking up. You can definitely feel it and see it in the trees. And that is a 5 4 line. A 4. And the winner is Italy. Chiara. Chiara of Italy takes closer. the gold medal. But Denisia of Slovakia taking this over. <laughs> And it is official. Chiara of Italy takes the gold medal and is your 2021 European field champion here in Floresh, Croatia. We will talk to her shortly. Because this is your first ever uh, uh, national champion, what, what, what's one piece of advice that you'd give for athletes that want to start shooting field, uh, that shoot their target, or even 3D, that want to learn field archery? What's one piece of advice that you'd give them as, as someone who's done amazing things today? Uh, I think that uh, for a child or guys, it's important to start to try a field or 3D competition because. Uh, help to improve in the target competition and so I advise you all to try and to compete in this type of competition. Got it. Well, that was fantastic and congrats for your first ever Thank you. European Championship. Thank you. Okay, so I have only 10 minutes. 
And as the archers watch out for the gold medal match for the junior recurve men, we have Mario of Romania and Frantisek of the Czech. On the left target, representing Romania, Mario Pinku. And his opponent on the right target, representing Czech Republic, Frantisek Hermanek. Frantisek of the Czech Republic with Romania shooting on the left target and the Czech Republic shooting on the right target. With the Roman with the Romanian fans and And the Czech Republic fans are answering the Romanian call. If we move to the 20 meter on the 20 centimeter face on target one. Again, Mario from Romania shoots a low four for his first arrow. And a three for Frantisek. Mario, a four again on a second arrow. And a and solid a five for Frantisek. Good shooting. Six, yeah. six and for a Mario. Six for Mario. And a four for Mar four for Fantishek. Good shooting from both athletes so far. Excited to see what they have to show for it. Unofficially, it is Mario with a two-point lead over Fantishek from the Czech Republic. Definitely see the uh, spirit, team spirit we have going on behind us here. It's quite nice, quite enjoyable to hear. Even when it's a little loud. The crowd, the crowd here is getting into the spirits of ch cheering for archers. And we have countries that aren't even on the country shooting, cheering for other countries, so. Everyone is getting to the spirit of these medal matches today. Definitely are, that is indeed very true. And it has been confirmed. Mario from Romania has a two point lead over Franticek from the Czech Republic. Moving on to their second target now. Which is a 25 meter target at, on the 40 centimeter face. A four for Mario. And a six for Frantisek. And answers with a six. That was an amazing shot. Really what he needed. Another four. For Mario, let's see if Frantisek can pull off another six. And four high, and that is good enough. Mario shooting his final arrow now. Let down due to the wind. You can definitely see the wind. The flag's really blowing left to right, waving out there. Definitely feel it from where we're sitting. And a four for front to check. Mario really has to put one into the six to keep his lead. And a four low. Four. 
unofficially. Unofficially, Mario is one point behind Franti Czech from the Czech Republic. 27 to 26. Waiting to have it confirmed and make it official. And it is official. It is a one point lead for Frantacek. Never mind, they changed it back again. Okay, my apologies. We are tied. 26 26. Mario from Romania and Frantacek from Czech Republic. Both tied, 26-26. Moving on to the third target now, which is a... 35-meter target on the 60 centimeter face. Mario shooting first. Four, Four just high. Still a good shot. Definitely something to be reckoned with. There's a five. Amazing shooting from front the check. Going into this match, Mario was actually ranked fourth in the ranking round, where front the check was actually eighth. So that's definitely seen underdog story right there. Let's see if he can finish the story here with his second shot. And a five again from front the check, and a five from Mario. Uh, six six from Mario, from Mario on that one. A good ending shot, but I think Franticek has a five or six in him as well. And a four low, four but that low. is still a good score. Officially, Mario will be leading 41 to 40, but we will wait for the official scores. You definitely see the athletes. Hello? And it's confirmed the scores are 41 to 40. As we move into the final target of 55 meters on the 80 centimeter face. So Mario from Romania has a one point lead over Franticek from the Czech Republic. 41 to 40. Mario shooting first. Five. And it's a five. Good Down shot. Solid five. Let's see if Frantacek can rival that. And it is a five. Amazing shots from both athletes. Mario shoots another five. Both low. He does make a sight adjustment. Frank yeah. Chat shoots a six, I believe. And that is really what he needs. And that will be a tie going to the final arrow of this match. Definitely some stress. You can definitely feel it. Tension. And a four. Definitely not what he wanted. This all comes down to Frank Chat's last arrow. Francis just needs a goal to win. Four. 
Oh. I think that's a tie. And that will, and unofficially we'll have a tie and we will have a shoot off Push. for the gold medal oh, match. Wait for that to come on. It's off. Okay, Luke, thank you. Oh my god, all the way there. Sorry, we had some. Uh, and it's been it confirmed. Tie 55 to 55. We are going to a one arrow shoot off on the 55 meter. 80 target face. My apologies, we are having some technical difficulties with mics. Try and get that all fixed and sorted out now, which I think we have. So, all excited here. You can definitely hear the range has gone quiet, and then we have the team cheering again. And they're off. One arrow per athlete. One arrow shoot off. Closest to center if they both shoot the same score. If not, it'd be the higher individual. Mario shoots first. And this is four. We a lot of stress on this arrow. Let's see. And I think oh. a micrometer may be needed for this match. It looks like we will have a measure. Honestly, I can't tell from here, from here even I with the camera. I really to can't. Who will have, who I, has believe, it. I believe my guess is Frente Czech from the Czech Republic has won it. It's a little closer, but even we have the athletes down there shrugging. And we see there is a micrometer out, so they are going to measure. And how this works is they measure from the spider to the shaft of the arrow to see who is the closest to the actual spider of the target, which is the center. And I believe I was correct, and it is Czech Republic. Now that was an amazing match. And Frantisek is your 2021 European Field Ch Junior Men's Recurve Champion. And we will be speaking to him shortly with Silver Medal going to Mario Tiempo of Romania. Congratulations to both archers. We are having slight mic problems. Here with your Recurve Junior Male Gold Champion. 
Okay, so how do you feel about your performance today? It was good, but I think I could do better. Okay, and that's good. Leaving room for improvement, I see. Uh, and this is your first ever European Championship gold medal, is that correct? Yes, it's even the first championship at all. That is fantastic. Okay, I'm very proud of you. I think everybody at home is very proud of you, and you're making your country very proud. Congratulations. into the semifinals by qualifying one and two respectively. And they're in the bronze medal. And unfortunately they lost to both Patrick Hewson and Florian uh, Unruh of Germany earlier, uh, earlier this week, knocking them to the bronze medal match. But still some amazing shooting from both athletes. But I do think that Team Italy will be going a little bit quieter for this match given that it's Italian versus Italian. Uh, trying to pick favorites. Oh, I don't think the Italians know how to cheer quietly. So I could be wrong. It's still going to be a quite interesting match to watch. We have Marco on the right hand side. Four, on the left side. To four for Marco. Let's see how Max shoots. Max is on the left hand target. It's a let down from him. New time, 80 seconds left. Not a concern. Not a worry. Marco now on his second arrow. Five, Mandina, five, 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 for both athletes. A five for for Mandina, Max, and a five for Marco. Four, Mandia. Four for Tied after the first two arrows with Marco shooting. Six, six for Marco. That's a, a fantastic shot. shot, giving him a six. This is really where Mandia needs to have a six or a five to keep you know, tie it or keep his points close. Five, and he does just that. Unofficially, he's one point behind Marco. The archers will be headed to the next target, which is a 25 meter shot on the 40 centimeter face. As we wait for the judges to confirm the scores. It 
and it's quite interesting seeing two Italians It's quite interesting seeing two Italians shooting against each other uh, in the bronze medal match. Probably used to shooting this at home, but Marco starts off with a strong six. Max up to shoot. Marco matches. Sorry, Max ma matches Marco six, and then Marco shoots a five. Max up to shoot. Six, Mandia. Uh, six and four, Mandia. Two very nice arrows. Three amazing arrows from Marco. Andia now on his final arrow, 20 seconds to go. Five, five and they're tied. After. After this target with means Marco will be leading going into the third target. I won. Unofficial. Mandia was first after the qualification rounds score place for Marco Morello. In the semi-finals, Mandia was defeated by Patrick Houston 59-62. Scores are confirmed. Marco will have a one point lead going into the third target, which is a 35 meter target, 35 meter distance on the 60 centimeter face. Score is confirmed. Marco Morelli is in the match by one point. 32 against the Mandia. 31 out of Mandia. Head to it. Marco seems to be to be taking his first shot. Five. Six, 
Fantastic shot by Max. Fantastic shot by Marco. These archers are not giving, not letting up on each other. Again, tying back to Elgin's 17-17. Giving Marco a one-point lead over Mandia unofficially. And they're going down to the final That's target, which is a 55 meter, 80 centimeter face target. These two archers really have been pushing each other. Both of them being teammates, knowing how each other shoots. Kevin and Bull push each other like this. Marco has a one point lead over Mandea. 49-48. And they are beginning their last target. Three arrows per archer. Winner takes all. Nice key sticks bronze. Marco up first. Four, four, four. Let down for Mandia. We have seen Mandia is a little bit of a slower shooter, but that is okay because he's still sh just as competitive. Seventy-seven seconds to go. Three arrows to shoot. That is a 5 for Mandia and a 5 for Marco. Another five. Tying it up again, coming down to the final arrow. Six for Morello. Six from Morello. Marco. Max needs to max this, max that six <laughs> to force a tie here in the bronze medal match. I see what you did there, Matt. Five. Oh, I just out. out. That was fantastic shooting from both athletes. Unofficially, Marco officially takes the win by one point over Mathia, also from Italy. Avili takes the bronze medal as we wait for the gold medal match here between Patrick of Great Britain and Florian of Germany.
as Matt did say, coming up. If you're just now tuning in, this is the 2021 European Field Championships here in Kodak, Croatia. Kodak, Kodak. Sorry. Kodak, Croatia. Next up, we have the Recurve Men Gold Medal Finals. Competitors will be Patrick Houston from Great Britain and Florian Unrau from Germany. And here they come, coming out to shoot. Ladies and gentlemen, please to welcome at least for the recurve and gold medal next with Patrick Vaughn. Definitely two fantastic shooters. All the last target. Patrick representing actually ranked Britain. fourth in the yes. round. Irish competitors <laughs> uh, competing for Great Britain back there cheering Patrick on. As we approach here, the 20 meter target on the 20 centimeter faces. Quite a far shot. Floating on up first, floating on shots. Five. Let's see if Patrick can match or even better that shot. and he wasn't very happy with it. See that in his face, but still a three, it wasn't a nice. Four for Patrick. Definitely room for improvement. You saw him change the clip sight. Coming on to his second and third arrow. This will be Florian's third arrow. Let's see how he does. Five for Udo. Five for Florian and another four Houston. for Patrick. This is where Patrick's really going to need to shoot a five or a six. Is that right, Matt? I need t a five to tie a six to take the lead. 22 seconds left on the clock, which is plenty of time. Three low. Unofficially, Florian will take the lead by two points, with 13 points over Patrick, over 11. There seems to be a slight bias in the crowd towards the British competitor. Bus. I haven't heard any German chants so far. Scores are been confirmed. It is. 
Florian with a two-point lead over Mr. Houston. Mr. Patrick. Mr. Patrick, my apologies. As we move to the 40 centimeter targets at 25 meters. Florian with the two-point lead. Patrick is drawing back first. Does not mean to shoot first, but... And there you go, Florian with... Four, four. 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 Patrick as well. Definitely, I want to say... A, Politely, I have to say, a little less impressive in the bronze medal match, but uh, a lot more, a lot more at stake here for that field ch championship there title. There really is, there really is. I do have to agree with that. South Patrick was not happy with that arrow he chose, so he put that one back and pulled a new one. Florian down with a second arrow. Patrick answer Florian's five with a six. He definitely needs another one of those to try to even out some points that he hasn't lost. And you see Connor is Patrick's coach, also an athlete from Great Britain, another fellow recurve shooter. Florian Sheen's final arrow. Five. It's mm -hmm. five. This is really where Patrick can make some points. Patrick might need to check that that arrow in the six ring. Sounds like he got it pretty well. It does. It really does. He may have whacked down a little harder than he wanted to. In the match, and and scores have been confirmed. We have a tie match going into target number three. And we have a tie score 27 tie as away of the third goal. We move to the third target, a 35 meter distance on a 60 centimeter face. They are tied 27 all. Let's see how they do now. Five, four, Patrick. You really needed that one in there. And a 6 5 line from the Florian. Uh, Things are possibly still tied after that one as Patrick starts his shot and Florian. Solid six by Patrick. Six. And a no doubt six by Florian. No archer is letting we'll see, up. I wonder if we will see our first 18 in this course. It is. Hopefully we do. Florian still has a shot at that. I haven't had one all day. Hopefully there's one coming up soon. And it may be, six. it may be, it may be that 5-6 line will have to be called by a judge, but it's sure enough close. Six. And with another nice shot by Patrick, it will 
come down to that one arrow to see if Florian will have a lead going into the final target or if it will be Ty going into the 80 centimeter face. All the archers reset their sights to 55 meters for the final target. The judge has pulled out his magnifying glass to judge Florian's last arrow. And with that six, you move to the final target, being a 55 meter on the 80 centimeter face. Still quite a far shot. Definitely with the breeze coming in like it is. Patrick down by one with one arrow for each archer remaining. recurve European champion with the silver going to Patrick Houston in a very very close match and we will hear from Florian here shortly how does that feel to be the first athlete out of Barebow, Compound, and Recurve to score a perfect score on one of these targets so far in the uh, in the uh, medal matches. Really nice because it's uh, pretty tough with the wind and also shooting this downhill in the other direction than the training field, but really nice. And then what would you say 
sort of your favorite part about this 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 event so far? My favorite part is uh, this final field. It's it's really nice to shoot on the on the beach. Okay. Is there any advice you'd give to any field archers that want to start shooting field that are like target or three D shooters? Just do it. Just go in in a course and and try it. Yeah, have fun. Oh, okay, you've heard it from him. Give you a 2021 gold medalist. Thank you so much. Enjoy your medal. After that exciting match, we move on to the compounds where we have junior compound women. Jacqueline from Sweden and Andrea Nicole from Italy. Just now tuning in, welcome to the 2021 European Field Championships here in Horic, Croatia. Next up, we have the compound junior women gold medal match. And here they come out of the chute, getting ready to go to their up you definitely see it in the trees and in the flags and they've started Italy will be on the right hand side Sweden on the left for this gold medal match starting with the 20 meter target on the 20 centimeter faces Five, five for Nicola. Three, and a three for Grinchstorm. Four for Hocha and a three. Six. That is six for oh. Greenstorm. Good comeback from that three she shot with her first arrow. Let's see if Italy, if Miss Hocha. Three, Hocha. And a three for Hocha. She was not happy with that shot. You can definitely see it in her face and how, she's, how she expresses herself now. Ringworm's final shot. Four. And I said four. Low so we give her a one point lead lead to the second target. Unofficially, it is 13 to 12. Winning storm and the 
lead by one point. Be interesting to see how the compounds will fare versus the recurves earlier. See where I expect some higher scores and some tighter competition. Quite chilly now in the in the uh, shade, actually, with that breeze coming in off the ocean. The wind definitely has been picking up all morning and getting even stronger as the compounds come out. Now moving on to their next target, and it is confirmed. Ringstone has a one-point lead over Mocha, thirteen to twelve. They move over to the 40 centimeter target at 25 meters. And there again, we do see Italy in a match again, a gold medal match. So, a lot of Italian archers. A four for both athletes. Definitely not happy about that, but they can't reshoot it. Both have adjusted their sights, and hopefully they can find the center with these next arrows. Be true. Four. Having some technical difficulties on our side. Apologize. Four. Ringstrom. And they both shoot a four loss there to tie for the target, which gives Ringstrom a one point lead going into the third target. You definitely see the wind is playing an effect on it. Ringstrom took the seventh place after the qualification round. And then Kormacha was second, going back into the semi-final, beating Viva Bell 68-59. For Ringstrom, uh, victory against uh, Drobniak and Albu during the pool matches. And victory in the semi-final against Sofia Kaccia 58-56. And scores are confirmed as we move over to the uh, 35 meter target on the 60 centimeter face. Ringstorm does have a lead of one point over Mocha, Mocha uh, 27 and 26. I've lost one of my commentators. It takes care of some issues that we're having here. We are on the third target, first arrow for both athletes. Storm and Mocha up. Shoot. It's a four for both four. athletes again. Definitely not what they're looking for. For, but it is what they're getting. And as you can see, it's a bit, uh, pretty consistent from both of them. Again, a lot of nerves in this competition. I bet they can definitely feel the stress. I know I would. It is a three for Ring Storm. And a 
five for Mokka. So she definitely just made up that small one point behind. Now she's one point ahead. They're on their final arrow for both athletes with 22 seconds on the clock. A spar. A four for Mokka and a six. Sweden, one point above Mokka from Italy, 40 to 39. They are now moving to their final target, which is a 55 meter target on 80 centimeter fence. going to their final target. Fifty-five meters, eighty center face. Ringstorm has a one point lead over Mokka going into this final tournament. That being said, there are still six arrows to be shot, three per athlete. And they have started. As you can see, the wind flags are pointing pretty much straight out. Definitely is a heavy breeze coming in off that marina. Both athletes are at full draw. 55 meters, 8 in your face. And it's a Take 6 the, for Mocha. Really and a 2 for Ringstorm. Definitely not what she wanted. It is definitely what she wanted. Puts Mutcha at a three point lead over Ringstorm. Five. And another five Mucha. for Mutcha. And a four, four for Ringstorm. Ringstorm. Definitely believe the wind played a role there. The Swedish archer, Swedish archer. That's a five. 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 Uh, that I completely missed, but at the end, fortunately, I can. I shoot well at the end. You did. You did. I didn't shoot well. Well, you shot quite well at the end. Uh, how would you say the wind affected you on these targets right here? Because I think uh, I think I did see a little bit of wind. Uh, one, two, and three. Third target, the wind it doesn't.
doesn't uh, change anything. But in the last, uh, maybe, uh, win on the left uh, is uh, quite uh, challenging. Is this your first uh, goal in the uh, first uh, European field championship here? Congratulations. Thank you. That's fantastic. Yeah. Okay, I give you your 2021 gold medalist in the compound junior women division. Thank Good you. Good job. Okay, and now we're moving into the compound women's bronze medal match. We have Bailey Sargent from Great Britain. Now, please welcome us for the compound women's bronze medal match. On the left target, representing Great Britain, Bailey. Sergeant. And our opponent on the right side, representing Italy, Irene Franchi. Line judge for the match, Mrs. Katerina Kontalova. On the left hand target, we have Bailey Sargent, and on the right hand target, or Bailey Sargent from Great Britain, and on the right hand Sargent, we have Irina Franchi. Francini. Franchini, I'm sorry. Irina Franchini from Italy. And I again we have an Italian player in a medal match. It really shows how much a superpower the Italians really are in field. Again, we have Bailey Sargent on the left hand side target with Irina Francini on the right hand side. <laughs> Wind is still blowing. This is a 20 meter shot on a 20 centimeter face. So it is quite out there, quite small. I'm trying to hit it with quite a small arrow as well. Bailey shoots a five, five low. Seven. Good shot. Good score. Five. And a five Franchini. low as well for Francini. Five. Francini. A five for Bailey. Or five, five for Irini. Long hold for Bailey. This might be because of the wind. And the six. Long hold for See from Gene let down there. How I didn't like it. Too much wind. Totally understand. Both archers are on their final arrow for this target. Five, Francini. Five for Francini. Sergeant. For Sergeant. Definitely not the shot she was looking for, but that is okay. Only one point. Unofficially, the score is 14 to 15. Irina Francini of Italy with 15. Bailey Sergeant of Great Britain with 14.
now move to their second point for uh, flanking 14 for the sergeant ready for the second target sergeant Both are drawing back at the same time. See strong shots from both athletes. The wind is picking up, as you can see in the flags on your screen now. It's a 6 5 line. 5 maybe four. 6 uh, for uh, Frankie. Frankie. 4 and a four for Bailey. Definitely not the shot she was looking for, but is what she was given. Five. And it's another five. Good shot from Francini of Italy. Let's see if Bailey of Great Britain can better her second shot. It's a little better. Five. five. Still low, but better than a four. Francini. And five. five from Francini. Sergeant coming up for the last arrow. 33 seconds on the clock. Plenty of time to make a good, strong shot. Six Fantastic shot from Bailey. Unofficially, it is 29.30. Francini of Italy, one point ahead. Bailey of Great Britain. Seventh place for uh, Philly Sergeant after the qualification round. Third place for Irene Frankini. Sergeant defeats uh, Dejuli and uh, Lori Lacla and Clarkson during the match pool. Defeated by Amanda Milinovic in the semi final. 72 77. 67. Victory against uh, Rona Kerr and Natale for Irene On the screen now you can Mexico see the Compa Women's Brackets coming Sarah into the semi-finals finals in the bronze medal match. British team is really pulling hard for their shooter, as we'll hear, probably hear from the Italian team after this end. After the verification, the 5-6 line of Mancini was a 6, getting her now a 2-point lead over Bailey Sargent. Worked to some amazing shots from both of these athletes. Six, 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 six. Four. And a four out for Francini. And that will tie the scores. Oh. And this is archery, anything can happen. Let's see if Bailey can give herself two more strong, good shots. Same with Francini. Yeah. Another six yeah. for That's Bailey. Good. And a five for Francini. Still a little high. Left, right, a lot better. Bailey is on her last arrow. Both athletes are on their last arrow. This is Bailey's chance to really stick one into that six and get a perfect score. So a bit of shake in Francini's arm. Five, Yeah, he looks nice, smooth, and relaxed. And it's four, a four low. Sergeant. And with those last two arrows, that will be unofficially a tie score at 45-45. For Bailey Sargent and Irina Francini. Let's 
soon as it is becomes verified, we will let you know. This will be a good match going into this. I am definitely excited to see how these athletes perform in his last target. Three arrows for athlete. Three chances. Three opportunities. Bailey Sargent and Irina Francini both got full drawn now. 50 meters on 55 meters on an 80 centimeter face. Six for Bailey. Starting off strong. And a and six for Francini answers. as well. Amazing shooting from both women. And a five just high for Bailey. Six, and another six, six for Francini. Another strong shot like that will give Irene the bronze medal. Both athletes are coming up full draw right now on their last arrow, their final opportunity. Let's see if Francini can pull off that. Mysterious 18. And she lets down, which is fine. 31 seconds on the clock. Plenty of time. No need to rush it. They both let down. 22 seconds on the clock. 20 seconds on the clock. Pushing that time a little bit, but I think they'll be fine. Francini, the wind is picking up. Francini, last arrow. And it's a four, and it's a four, four. And that will, and that four will give Irene the bronze medal here at the 2021 European Field Championships in Poresh, Croatia. Irina Francina, Francini. I was saying it right earlier, and I messed it up. Okay. Italy takes the bronze medal over Great Britain. Good shooting, ladies. And it's been confirmed. Bronze medal to Italy. Irene Francini. Good Congratulations. Shooting. Good shooting. And great shooting by Bailey Sargent of the of Great Britain. As the field crew resets the field, we're going to get ready for our gold medal match for the compound senior women's with Amanda from Croatia and Sarah from Italy. Sarah.
Uh, if you're just now joining us here in the uh, beautiful Boric, Croatia, this is the European Field Championships 2021. The weather right now is 28 degrees Celsius, so it is slowly getting warmer and warmer and warmer. Humidity 37 and a 13 kilometer per hour wind out of the southeast. Now this is your compound women gold medal match. Amanda, I'm not sure that last name, I apologize, from Croatia and Sara from Italy. Exciting match is going to go on front of her eyes. Yet again, Amanda from Croatia. And yet again, Croatia, uh, Amanda from Croatia was first place seed where Ciara Ret from Italy was second place seed. So again, a first and second place seed here in your gold medal match. And they are ready to go here in a little bit. Amanda will be shooting on the left hand target, whereas Sia Sara will be shooting on the right hand target. This should be a very Good match to watch. Excited to see how they shoot. After that bronze medal match, this should be very exciting. It really should. All right, as they start off on the 20 meter target on the 20 centimeter faces. Both athletes are at full draw right now. Four, ret, four, and they ret four for both athletes. Ciara is now at full draw on her second arrow. Followed closely by Amanda. Five. Five for Ciara. Sara, sorry. Six. And six for oh, and Amanda. Shot. Five for Asara. And it's a four five line for Amanda. Potentially Amanda here will lead by one or a tie. Fourteen. Depending 14. on that last last arrow. Unofficially at this moment it is fourteen to fourteen. Once we know on the judge call of the four five line for Amanda, we will let you know. And after the first end, it is confirmed. It's tied 14 to 14. So that 5-4 line that was shot was just out, sadly. Moving on now to our second target, which is a 25 meter, 40 centimeter shot. 25 meter target, 25 meter distance, 40 centimeter target face.
Sara is at full draw, followed by Amanda. Six. A six, six for Sara. Six. Six. And a closer six by Amanda. Two amazing shots by two amazing archers. Both shoot a five, though Sara's arrow might be a six. We'll wait for the judges call on that. Five, six lines. So we go into the final arrow for this target. All tied up. Unofficially. So pretty close shots by both athletes. It's been very interesting so far. And a six for Sara. Let's see if Amanda can rebuttal with another six to keep herself in. Five, and a five for Amanda. Not what she needed, but it is okay. Still points to be earned. She still has two more targets to go. Plenty of time to make up that point. As so we wait for that final arrow of Saros. See if that will be upgraded to a 6 2 for a perfect score for the second target. And that 5-6 liner was upgraded to 6, giving Sarah Sara Rett the Sara. second perfect score of the day. So officially, Sara from Italy is 2 points ahead, Amanda from Croatia, 32-30, to 30, going into their third target. Strong shots by both athletes. to our 35 meter target 60 on the 60 centimeter face. Both athletes are at full draw right now on their first arrow of this target. Six. And a six for Sara. Six. And six for Amanda. Amanda. Two amazing shots. Let's see if they can duplicate those Again. Six. A six for Sara and a six for Amanda. Two amazing shots. Let's get one more. What do you think, Matt? Just great shooting by both of them. See if they can both get a perfect score, the third and fourth of today. That'd be pretty fantastic. Two perfect scores back to back would be incredible. And she did it! Number six for Sada. Mendel is down, still plenty of time. 40 seconds on the clock. Plenty of time for a letdown. Center yourself, deep breath as you see her doing just there. And now committing to that shot. Fresh and new. Six. And a six. Two perfect scores from both those athletes. That was fantastic. And Amanda's like, I can do it too. <laughs> I'm cool too. Yeah. So our third and fourth perfect scores of the day. And both these archers are fantastic shooters. Really showing how good they really are. Look forward to interviewing these.
And on your screen now, you can see the semifinals, finals, and bronze medal matches for these athletes to show what scores they have been shooting and what scores they're on the way to shoot now. The wind is picking up. It is getting a lot heavier. Flags are at full mass. Now the 5 for Zada and a 5 for Amanda. Two errors to go, and Zara has a two point lead over Amanda. Seeing if she can hold on to it through these last two arrows. And a six and that's for the way you do Five for Amanda. Six, and a six and to a seal six. the deal in style. Six for Ciara. Might just get a strong shot out of Amanda. Don't want to waste any arrows. Five. And a five. And everything you see right there was just 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 left of that center. But there you go, your 2021 World Europe oh, sorry, 2021 European Field Champions are Ciara from Italy. Silver medal is Amanda from Croatia. We will have a word with Sara here in a second. Thank you, really happy. Well, that's my question. How happy are you about this gold medal? I'm so, so happy because this was my third gold medal in this uh, European. So, three years in a row? No. A team, a mixed team. Oh, oh, yes. Yes. Oh, that's fantastic. That is brilliant. Okay. Uh, how was how was the weather out here while shooting? Because we, had some, we had some wind pick up, but how, how did you see it? Yes, it was a bit windy, but I, I think it's not, it's not so much. It's a bit, but you can uh, keep the ball in the middle, so it's okay. Well, is there anything you'd like to add or say to anybody out there, your fans, anybody listening? Just thank you to all the people that support me. Thank you. <laughs> and then you are 2021 Compound Woman Gold Medalist. We are now going into our compound junior men gold medal match. Tim from Sylvania and Mika from Italy. Mikia. It's Mikia from Italy. Mikia. Tim from Sylvania and Mikia from Italy. Tim will be on the left 
right-hand target where Mikea will be on the right-hand side. This will be a very interesting competition between two very interesting shooters. That being said, I'm curious to see if Team Italy and Team Slovenia get loud, cheering, and really start making ruckus. It will be a loud, tough match for these two archers. Hopefully. We, if, if the camera does pan over this side, you see a lot of the athletes are sitting down are quite worn out because they've had a long, long morning so far cheering on for their shooters. The weather right now here in Porec is 29 degrees Celsius, 45% humidity, and a 15 kilometer wind out of the southeast. A 10 kilometer increase since we started this morning. Five for Kia. A four low for Tim. Five there for Mikaya. Great comeback for Tim from Slovenia. Shooting a four his first arrow and a six his second. And a good six, too. Six, and a six uh, for uh, Mikaya as well. Gives Mikaya a five, five, six line and a six. When the judges go down their score, we will find out what it is. And a five, oh, five. for Tim's last arrow. Fantastic shooting from both of them. Could be a one point to two point lead for Mikaya. You have to wait for the judges to call that, that middle arrow. And here we go. If you look at the screen now, we can see the semifinals, the finals, and the bronze medal matches. See who the arch archer shot against, what their scores were going into this event. You see both are shooting strong. And it seems like that arrow has been upgraded to a six, giving Ikea a two point lead over Tim from Slovenia. Or Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Yes, and it was official. That 5-6 line was a 6, giving Mikia a 2-point lead over Tim from Slovenia. Moving on to the 40-centimeter target at 25 meters. Five for Tim and a six for Mikia. Mikia does not seem to be letting up on his opponent. Really does not. Now oh, it looks like a beautiful six down there as well. Let's see if Tim can pull a six off as well. Five, five six line. I believe that is a six from where I'm sitting. A six for Tim. Definitely hear their teammates cheering them on behind us. Five. And a five oh. low for Chia. Six. And a six four. <laughs> we'll have to wait for the arrows to be called, but this may be a Tight set. One and a one point match. Or a one point match. I have to wait for the hear back from the judges for me as soon as we know.
And it was a six. Judges confirmed it was a six, giving Mikaya a two point lead going into the third target over Pennsylvania. Minka from Italy has a two point lead over Tim from Sylvania. 34 to 32. As we start our third target on the sixth stammer face at 35 meters. Both athletes are ready. A six from Tim and a five from Miguela. Cotano. Chia. A Tim, Tim with a four, a six, four, Godano. <gasps> Definitely not what Tim wanted, but it's what he was served. Five, and a five for Godano. Four, and a four ten. for Tim. Doesn't know where that was from. You can see the frustration. He came off the line. Definitely should not have been there, but it was. Coach is telling him, just probably just telling him to, you know, shake it off. It happens. Move your sight and get ready for the next target. Because Unofficially, Godano from Italy has 50 points, or Tim from Slovenia has 46. Four point lead for Italy. Compared to earlier, free curve from Berbo, a four point lead is a little steeper of a climb to climb out of, but it is not impossible for the last target for the compounds to pull themselves out of a four point lead. They just need to have a good match and get some help from his opponents. Definitely hear the athletes behind us cheering on their team members. As we move to the 55 meter face, or sorry, the 55 meter target with the 80 centimeter face. Kea from Italy is up by four. Four, go down. Now four, not what he wanted. Six, six from Tim, closing the gap to two with two arrows to go. Like we said, anything can't happen, especially at these far targets with the wind blowing the way it is. Nothing is set in stone. Five, and a five, four. Another six for Tim. The man to drop to the six to cut the lead to one. 1 1.2 go. A lot of pressure on this arrow coming up. There will be a lot of pressure on both of these shooters. Six, six, six. The perfect score. Perfect score from Tim. And a five from Nikea. Pretty sure they're tied. Like you said, nothing is impossible, especially in archery. Never give up to the last arrow is shot. And now we go to uh, another exciting shoot-off for the gold medal match of the 2021 European Field Championships. And it has been confirmed, it is a shoot-off! So let's go. You 
can definitely hear the athletes behind us cheering, jumping, just being goofballs, and it's fantastic. Set the faces here so they have a clean uh, X in the front and center of the target to measure from, just in case this goes to a measurement. Teams behind us cheering on their. It really comes down to this one arrow. This is going to be something intense. Thankfully, we can be part of that experience. It's one arrow, one opportunity. Better make the best of it. The wind is picking up. You can see the flags are blowing a little harder. Whoa. It's a four to four with it's a four to four. I think Italy took seems the goals. to be taking the seems to be winning. Italy. It's Italy taking the gold medal in the twenty twelve one field championships. Eric Gladano is your 2021 field champion. Gladano, the 2021 junior compound men gold medalist. Sweet and easy. Step this way a little bit for me, please, and thank you. Okay. How was that? How was that experience? Um, experience molto faticosa, diciamo. It was hard. To, I mean, an hard experience because it was tiring, actually, but nice. Sofferta. <laughs> and the match was so tight, so I had pressure until the last ever. And it really was a tight match between you two. And it was incredible to watch. Loved it. Loved the experience. Uh, what's one thing you'll take What's one memory you'll take away from this? One thing you'll you'll enjoy thinking back on when you think about this tournament? Cosa che ti rimarrà che ti è piaciuto di questa esperienza? Beh, sicuramente le, le, la medaglia d'oro, che non è, non è mai scontata. Poi, diciamo, il calore dei miei compagni di squadra. E ad avercela messa tutta in questi giorni di gara in questa finale e nella freccia di shoot off. So he uh, will uh, for sure remember the gold medal, the support of the teammates and the fact that he did his best every ever until the last. And the support from the family at home. That is fantastic. See so you guys cheering each other on, being a team, supportive, it is a fantastic experience. Gives me chills. Thank you so much and congratulations and I give you your Compound Junior Man 2021 Gold Champion. Fantastic.
beautiful day here in Poresh, Croatia, as we start on our senior men, senior compound men's bronze medal match. Germany versus the Netherlands. With Henning representing Germany on the left target and Mike on the right target representing the Netherlands. Henning qualified six, working his way through the group stages to make it to the semifinals. Falling to uh, Croatia, while Mike was given, fell to Marco of Italy to to land here in the bronze medal match, with Mike Slosher qualifying second. And this will be a interesting match to watch, as Matt did say, Mike did qualify in second seed for this tournament, but got into the bronze medal match for uh, the actual shoot down. So must have had some struggles, learned some things, figured it out. So this will be an interesting match to see how they shoot. Where Herring from Germany was the sixth place seed. So I'm definitely interested to see what does what. A six for Mike straight out of the box. Fantastic shot. Let's see if he can give us two more. A four high for Heron. Henning. Another six for Mike. I mean, that's what he's known for. I mean, this twenty. Mike is showing no fear at this twenty-meter target. A six four. And another six four. Perfect score to start off the match. But another six from Henning. With one arrow to go. One last arrow to go. One last arrow to go. And it is a 5 6 line. Maybe in, maybe out. We'll have to wait for a judge to confirm and let us know. But that was amazing shooting from Mike. First target, perfect score. That's the first time in this shoot the gold medal and bronze medal matches combined yesterday and today that there was a perfect score on a 20 meter birdie right out of the box that is brilliant and so amazing to watch it's up to the judges to see if Mike will have a 2 or a 3 point lead going into target 2 on the 40 centimeter face we will definitely see it will definitely be interesting. It's been confirmed. Uh, Henning's arrow has been upgraded to a six, giving Mike a two-point lead going into target number two. And that's still that's an amazing start from both athletes. 16 to 18, perfect score from Mike. And only dropped two points from Henning. Fantastic shooting from both athletes. I am very excited to see what... Mike will put down on his second target, to be honest. Can he, can he keep up the perfect pace? We'll just have to watch to find out. Yes, sir. It will be interesting to watch, and I'm excited to see what him and Heron does in this match. And it's a five just slow, but still, I'll take that. Gold is good. Gold is good. Six. And a six from Heron. A six from Mike. Mike responds with a six. Just what he should be doing. Fantastic shot. Six. And that was another fantastic shot. Now I'm curious. Are they going to swap back and forth between 18s? See how that Could goes. Very well be the case. 
Five, six, five, six line for Mike. I'm sure he's gonna look at it. He's gonna know exactly what it is when he sees it. Henning is up now for his final arrow. And it's a five oh, just, just low. Out. Yet again, we'll need to wait for a judge's confirmation on a 5-6 line for Mike from the Netherlands. Mike unofficially leading at one, but could Me too. have a two-point lead going to the 60 centimeter target. Decided to sit back, watch, and find out. Either way, this is going to be a fantastic match for both athletes. Already is. Entertaining, exciting, nerve-wracking. All the emotions in just one, one, one little arrow. And I know as them, as the athletes, I mean, Mike does have a lot of experience under pressure in the eye of the camera. So I'm curious if that will give him a little bit of a lead over the German in this situation. Former rank number one has a long list of World Cup medals. Exactly. He's exactly. a very strong competitor. He really is. The sit back, watch and see. And Mike's arrow has been upgraded to a six, giving Slosher a two-point lead going into the 35-meter target. Two-point lead for Mike from the Netherlands, 35 to 33. Still fantastic shooting from both athletes. They are now moving to their third target, which is a... 35-meter target on the 60-centimeter face. Good luck to both of them as they make some strong shots. I do like the color combo that uh, that Mike is shooting, that slate with the red. I even like the white with the green and the black. That looks pretty nice, both bows. Five for Mike on his first arrow. He didn't look very happy with that one, but it was still in the gold. Let's see what Herons can do. And a six for Henning. This is Mike's second arrow. Third target. Six. And a six. And he found the six shot. Ring. Let's see if we can put another one in there. This is heading second shot as well. Six. And another six. Another good, good solid six. Keeping the pressure of Mike to shoot well. I don't know about you, but this bronze medal match has probably been one of the most exciting matches so far. Six. Another, and six another six from, from Mike. Mike. See if he can rival this 18 from this target. And, and a perfect 18. score. Fantastic <laughs> shooting from Hannon. Henning. Six 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 for Henning and a six six five for Mike. Cutting Mike's lead from two to one going into the final three arrows each. And anything can happen. We've seen this multiple times. At this point, anything can happen. Last match we saw a four point comeback on this last target, so that one point lead isn't as secure as you might think, even with these fantastic archers. So it will be a very exciting last target. And the score is confirmed, 52 to 51, Mike up on Henning by one point. Going now to our final target, 55 meter, 80 centimeter face. This is going to be exciting.
five just <laughs> low for Mike. You see him shake his head, move his sight. He knows that that arrow was not him. It was the bow. Six. Now we have a tied score with two arrows to go as Henning hits a six on the line. Mikey really needs these sixes for this match just to be safe. And it's a six. Still low. You see him move his sight. Another six from Henning. This now, may be a shoot off. I'll come down to this one last arrow. It really does. <laughs> five, it's a five for Mike. Door is open for Henning to take hit with a six. Or tie with a five. I really don't know how this is going to go, to be honest. Five. Oh, just high. <laughs> And this match will be going to a shoot-off. I don't know about you, but this has been probably the best match I've seen so far today. If you're just now joining us, this is the Compound Men's Bronze Medal Match here at the 2021 European Field Championships in Poric. Croatia. And it is confirmed there is going to be a shoot off. One arrow each, one opportunity. Take it all and go home with literally nothing. Yep. Just change out target faces. New paper is up. They are ready to go now. And they're off. Closest to the center will decide this bronze medal match. I believe we're going to see two sixes out of these athletes. Just have to wait and see. And a six from Mikey. Five. Oh, just low, and Mikey takes that it. That is fantastic match. Fantastic shooting. I could not be any happier with that. Definitely here. They are cheering Mikey on. Fantastic. anything wrong. Is that her? Never mind. Her team manager's being a dick. And she's really done nothing wrong to anybody. Okay, and this is our final match of the day. This is the Compounds Men Gold Medal Match.
Okay, I'm going to butcher this and I apologize, but it's our final match of the day. And it is... Domaggio. Damagoya. Damagoya. His name is Damagoya. There we go. It is Damagoya from Croatia and Marco Bruno from Italy. Again. This is the compound men's gold medal match. Damaggio versus Marco. Croatia versus Italy. Now we see on the screen here is how these archers got here. Scores they've been shooting. It's also fantastic scores, not gonna lie. We'll see. Now off to our first target. 20 meter target on the 20 centimeter faces. Both these athletes are definitely a force to be reckoned with. That shot was a six. A six for Putin. Putin qualified first while Marco had to fight through the group starting from the 10th seed all the way through to make it to this gold medal match. Five, five Bruno. for Bruno. Sixty-seven seconds on the clock. Budan is up next with Marco as well. See some fantastic shots from both athletes. Four, maybe five. No, four, maybe five for four, Bruno. It'll be a four or five line. Judge will have to call it. And a six for Final shot for Marco. Five. And it's a five, Ooh. just low. Five. Five just, just out. out. Right. Fantastic shooting from both of these athletes. Unofficially, it is a 17 to 14. We'll see if. Marco's arrows will be uh, upgraded here after the judges take a look at it. As the as the athletes move their sights to get ready for the 25 meter target. That four was in fact a four, giving Mr. Budan from Croatia a three point lead over Mr. Bruno of Italy. Now, moving on to their second target now. Budan has a three point lead over Bruno. Six is across the board for both archers. Fantastic shots by both of them, almost simultaneously. Sometimes it just says like that. Five for Bruno. That is a five for Bruno, and a six.
Ooh, and that's a very close liner there for Boonin. And a judge call. I think that's been one judge call in every target so far. Yeah. Judges are definitely getting their target calling practices in today. Last shot. Let's down. Now they're both going to shoot their last shot. With 20 seconds left on the clock. And both of them with matching sixes on the last arrow. This really will come down to that arrow call on that 5-6 line to figure out who really is, or who really does get points, or if they just tie it out. Unofficially, there are 34 to 33 with Budan in the lead by three points over Bruno. 34 to 31. I believe that might change, though. Just waiting on that judge to give us confirmation if that arrow is upgraded or not. And it has been. Perfect score from Mr. Boudin from Croatia. Having a four point lead over Marco Bruno from Italy. As they move over to the 35 meter target on the 60 centimeter face. Bruno with Bruno. a six. Five. And a five for Buda. Very close, just a little high, a little bit right. Five, Bruno. And that was a five for Bruno. Definitely needed a six to try and make up some points, especially with how hard the competition is right now, but that is okay. There's still room. Six, still a little bit to the right. And a six for Bruno and a six for Budin with one arrow to go. 54 seconds on the clock, which is plenty of time. Should not feel stressed or rushed or anything. the final shot. 26 seconds on the clock. He is using up that time, but hopefully it is worth it. Six. He's a four point lead on Marco. Four point lead, Budon goes into the final 55 meter target. Clear favorite, but as we've seen before, it's not over until that last arrow is shot. We've already seen a four point turnaround for a tie earlier today. So while he has the advantage, it is not a guarantee. It's not given to him. It has been verified. It is 52 to 48. 
Butan from Croatia has 52 points and Bruno from Italy has 48 points. Four point lead for Budan. Being this last target, it does rely heavily on the shots coming up. Six for both athletes. Two fantastic shots. Another six for Bruno. Two down, one more to go. Can this man pull off an 18? That's the question. Budan's second arrow now. Six. And it was a six as well. Budin also matches his six. Bruno with his last arrow. Quite excited to see how this ends. Five. And it's a five, just out. I think this is it. Sadly, I do. It was a good match. All I enjoyed watching uh, it. But a, a one to tie and a two to win. I really think this is Budan's match. We'll wait and see. Get confirmation, and I will let you know. Yep. And yeah. That's the way to finish a match with a perfect score. Budan from Croatia is your 2021 European Field Champion with Marco Bruno, Bruno Marco, your silver medalist. Mr. Budan shot 70 points out of a possible score of a 72 with the highest score today on this field. Congratulations. We'll speak to him shortly. In a few minutes, we will proceed with the award ceremony. So please, all the medalists at the entrance of the field, please, all the medalists at the entrance of the field for the award ceremony in a few minutes. Thank you. 72 points. How does that make you feel? Oh, well, it felt amazing. I've been taking painkillers for the past three days because of my shoulder and without the British physiotherapist, the this wouldn't have happened. Uh, this morning I couldn't even hold a fork at breakfast and now I came out and shot one of the highest scores in the finals field. So I think, I think that is the highest score today and yesterday on this field, uh, given points. You dropped two points. That is fantastic. That is, I mean, that's astonishing. It really is. Uh, how long have you been shooting, let me ask you? Uh, well, I've been shooting for officially 16 years. But field has been my main discipline, so this is my third title in a row now. Third title in a row. Third title in a row. That is fantastic. Well, there you go. Your compounds, man. 2021 gold medalist. Congratulations. Hey, and make it four. Okay, I am back. 
that was amazing shooting from Budan from Croatia. 70 points out of 72. Fantastic. That was crazy. Okay. This is going to wrap up the European Field Championships here in Podek, Croatia, 2021. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. I hope you were able to watch live streams. And I wish you all farewell. Until next time, this is European World Archery out. Thank you so much for joining us.